Hi everyone and welcome back to a new video on the how to make a simulator game series. Now before this video starts, I want to let you guys know that I have a Patreon. So if you guys want to support me and want to have access to every single one of my tutorial files, they will all be available in my Patreon in the $10 tier. With that being said, let's start. So what we're going to be starting with is creating a, uh, an infinite uh, storage game pass. So to do that, what I'm going to do is stop the game, wait for it, and go to server, and I'm going to add a folder called Game Passes. Game Passes. Now I'm going to add a script, and I'm going to rename it to Infinite Storage. And what I'm going to do here is create some variables. So local MPS is equal to game colon get service marketplace service after doing that we'll do uh local players local players is equal to game con get service players now a uh, local function player added player and we're gonna have players dot player added con connect player added player added after doing that, what I'm going to do right here is just uh, put in an if statement. So if mps.user, I think it was called user, on user owns game pass async, and I'm pretty sure that takes the user ID and um, the or the player name, uh, and then the game pass ID. Now in here we're gonna do player dot user user id i'm pretty sure it was called this user id yes comma and we're gonna get the game pass id game pass id and right here we're gonna have a variable called local game pass id and we're gonna have that set to an id so it's going to be zero for now but what I'm going to do is create a game pass. Now, how do you create a game pass? I'm going to be showing you right now. So go ahead, open up your browser, go to roblox.com. And what I'm going to do is go to create and go to my place. So it was this simulator series and go to the store and press add pass. Now we want to go ahead, choose a file. Uh, after you've chosen your file, you're going to give it, give your game pass a name. So this is going to be infinite, infinite storage. And you can give it a description. We're going to say gives you infinite storage. Preview and just go verify upload. And now you want to press the gear icon, go to configure, and then you can go to sales and press this and the price, put this to whatever you want. Now I'm going to change this to something like 200 Robux and I'll press save back to details. And here you can see you have a number in your game pass link. Now, as you can see this number, you want to double click on it, copy it and go back to studio and here we can paste in the game pass id now here we're gonna do a then and what we're gonna be doing is player well let's do a while loop so p call uh, or spawn function while wait two seconds do and we're gonna have a player player I think it was dot player values let's check uh, no it was storage so dot storage dot value is equal to and uh, we're gonna put a crazy number so I'm just going to have it set as this and now if you play the game because I own the game pass my value should be a some crazy number and if I just go ahead and buy some storage, as you can see, it does not work, but it will go back. Now, 
how do you make this say infinite instead of some huge number you're gonna want to go to your gy manager and right here where where we i think it was main client yes right here when we, where we do this we'll just do this so if if player if plr dot storage dot value is equal to is equal equal to and then you want to go back to this number copy it copy the exact same number put it here then v dot text is equal to that dot dot and remove the these two dots and put infinite so the infinite sign i'm not really sure where it is i'm going to just put an inf for infinite and now if you play the game we have it says infinite now it does not say infinite here but that is because it has not changed yet so if i just do this as you can see now it says infinite but we don't we want this to change as soon as we join the game and to do that what i'm going to do is remove this weight or actually put back the weight and just copy this Just copy this, put it right here. Okay, co um, copy this and put it here instead of the other thing. Now, if you play the game, it should say infinite from the start. And as you can see, we have just created an infinite um, storage game pass. And what just happened? Okay, we don't want this to happen. So we're gonna fix it. And to fix it, what I'm going to do is go back here and do the same thing here. So copy this, put it here. Now play the game again. And that should work. Okay, now it's flawless, hopefully. And we have a fully working infinite storage game pass. Now, this is going to be it for today's tutorial. If this helped, please subscribe, like the video, share it with your friends, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye!